Okay guys, here we are in Florida. It's like uh, 6.45 in the morning and uh, I got the worst possible thing that can happen to a simpleton body man like me. An electrical problem with the house. I've got no water this morning. Uh, I looked in there, looks like some capacitors, some wires, and then I see this little, I think that's a points box like on the compressors. I tapped on that and I got the thing to come on for a minute. So I'm thinking I need to take that apart and uh, see if that works. Uh, what do you think, Black Cat? I don't know shit about electric. Uh, I don't know. I've been expecting this water system to fail ever since I bought the house. But. Didn't expect it to happen on a Sunday. I hear the thing back flushing too. I don't know if it's flushing, black flushing, what's going on. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on today. We got uh, my old helper. Hopefully I'll get to introduce you guys to him. Uh, he worked for me for eight years. He's a painter now. And his little brother. Uh, they're coming over to make me a paint booth. They're uh, sort of handy with the carpentry stuff. We're going to make a building in the back of the building so we have a designated paint area. Uh, put some filters in. Build some sort of a booth back there. Guess we're going to be dealing with a water issue. We had no electric all day yesterday. So the Cadillac didn't get done. It's still in primer. But, uh, we're gonna get on that. We got this Dodge truck I have to get finished today. I told the guy I could have it Monday. It's an all over, it's got all over body work, pretty much every panel. So, this is definitely gonna be a power hour truck. Uh, picked up some more Volkswagen parts yesterday. Hopefully, we can get those motors finished up. Uh, Got some goodies. Got a ooh, excuse me. 96 pass cooler with a fan. It's gonna be for the bus. You got the new cat there. Okay, hang on. Got a new Super Beetle fan for our uh, generator. Oh, uh, what else do we get? Uh, some miscellaneous stuff. We got a, a couple new fuel pumps in here. We got a new carburetor. And a new cap. Bosch, you guys out there that are running Volkswagens, stick to the Bosch stuff, man. Don't buy that China crap. It's a couple dollars that you save will leave you on the side of the road. A uh, little tip on these fuel pumps. Uh, hate to see Volkswagens catch on fire and this is a common problem um, the manufacturer of these pumps uh, have cheapened up their process they used to have a c-clip on the pin that act, the arm actuates on that pin right there uh, that pin's caused more fires lately on Volkswagens than bad gas lines uh, Seems like that pen comes out, falls out, and then all the uh, gas starts running out of this pen area. Don't know why, but it'll leave you stranded on the side of the road. What you like to do is take this pen. You can see this one's even, uh, it's a good example of how shitty the quality is. That pen's coming out already on this side you know it's pushing through you need to take a punch and peen around the pin and it'll hold that pin in 
and uh, won't fall out and leave you on the side of the road. It's just a little tip. You shouldn't have to do that to a new part, but that's where we're at in the Volkswagen world. Uh, I'm going to get on the Nova a little bit. I don't know if we'll get much done on that today. Got Jen's bus. We're going to weld that panel in for sure. I bought this little thing yesterday. It's pretty cool. Uh, I was going to make a rheostat switch, but I found this at Harbor Freight, so I just bought it. It's a rheostat speed switch. And uh, I put it on my grinder. I've been having a bad time with these wheels exploding. I don't know if they're cheaping up the manufacturing process or uh, what the deal is, but this runs the grinder a lot slower and uh, I think it's a safer speed for these wheels. Uh, I was doing a video the other day and I had this one blow up on me and hit me in the finger. That piece came out of it. And uh, that shit's no good, man. Uh, I had a shop that I sold and uh, my uh, partner's father just retired from a factory job and uh, he uh, he was bored silly and always wanted something to do so uh, we let him come down to the shop and it was an 18,000 square foot shop so it was a pretty big body shop uh, he built a whole gantry system through the shop put a you know, system where we could lift the bodies off the cars and move the bodies over, move the chassis, and he was just a really handy guy, but he'd love to start work at four o'clock in the morning. And uh, I came in one morning and there's blood everywhere. And uh, blood by the gate, blood by the front door, and I just freaked out. I thought something bad had happened. Well, something bad did happen. He was cutting on a rocker panel and he had a cutoff wheel explode and hit him in the lip and knocked his bottom teeth out and uh, it was so traumatic to Greg my partner that we ended up selling the business so his dad wouldn't have somewhere to come hurt himself uh, so you gotta be careful with those cutoff wheels and when you get into the off brands it even becomes the worst problem uh, I always like to buy 3M cutoff wheels I won't sell anything but 3M cutoff wheels to my customers because just because I've seen them blow up before. What is it, black cat? You hungry? This cat's always hungry. I'll keep it quiet for a minute. Where's canned food? I know. All right, I'm going to go deal with this water issue. And uh, when the boys get here, we'll uh, start the construction on the paint booth. I'm going to put that in the back corner there. Where the blue car is at. And uh, this thing does not want to focus a mocus. There we go, back there. I'm going to use that wall as a wall. We're not going to put a ceiling in it. We're going to put a wall right down the middle and then a garage door there with some filters and stuff. And I think it'll be a lot better. Uh, right now, if I have anything painted in here and I paint something, you know, I'm buffing for days. So I'm running out of clear coat to rebuff stuff. So we're going to make us somewhere to paint some stuff. But uh, That's it, man. I watched everybody's video this morning. Jeff at Photo Finish, man. Really appreciate the videos. Uh, you're definitely one of the first people I started watching. I remember uh, the first video I saw that you did was uh, a blue Mustang. And uh, I guess the car was already painted and you were reassembling it. And uh, I think I've pretty much watched every one of your videos since then. Uh, I find them pretty informational. Uh, seems like everything you say you can take to heart. And uh, you just seem like a good guy, man. Uh, really like the videos. Craig Porter, congratulations on the Gia, man. Got it all primer. Now we need to get it painted. Uh, Next time you do a car, you know, you want to use all Matrix products, give me a call. Maybe we can work something out. We'll do a sponsorship deal. Maybe you can do some videos. Uh, we do that a lot for the Camaro guys. we got a shop in town that does a lot of Camaro restorations. 
and uh, we donate all their products and stuff and they do write-ups in the magazines and give my wife a little mention it's good for business so something to think about uh, yeah it's gonna be a big Sunday so we got power we're gonna get this painted for sure today and uh, should be a lot of good stuff going on today uh, we'll get back with you and uh, we're gonna cut this one and uh, go get it downloaded for you